on. Come fuck with me. I'll get your ass, you jerk. <laughs> between Vanderlei Silva and Tito Ortiz. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me, that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man, but as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, high kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. The American is 31, the Brazilian is 34. The reach is identical. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, Tito Ortiz. And now introducing his opponent, this man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 12 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, the Axe Murderer, Wonderland Silva! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. And I'd say lock the SOBs up. Make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag his fight to the mat 
I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up career. Nice hammer fist. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch him go. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground. So there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through that. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Tito Ortiz! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. You made him pay for it tonight, got the submission to victory. Oh, for me, who's the new